Hello. So, I made a walkway dress a few weeks ago. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'm going to put a link somewhere. Um, it turned out really nice. Um, fabric was a bit difficult to work with, but it turned out good. And uh, so I had a little idea. Uh, if you can't tell on Halloween, and uh, one of my favourites is obviously Nightmare Before Christmas. So I thought, how could I make this kind of like a Jack and Sally dress? So I have made a Sally dress before. I just made it from bits of t-shirts that I found in a charity shop. And I sewed it all to a sort of oversized night dress that I also found in a charity shop. I think it was a second because it was misprinted. Um, but yeah, so I sewed it all to that and I made the Sally dress that is here. And so I decided to make the inside like that and then just put pinstripe on the back and the skirt to make it look like Jack and maybe add some fun buttons. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it then. Okay guys, so this is where I'm starting. So I've got my scraps of fabric all laid out where I want them and I've checked with the pattern to make sure they're going to be the right size. So the next job is to sew everything together. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Uh, so I'm going to take a photograph of my phone. So I know exactly how everything goes, and I'll just whiz it all together, and then I will cut the shape out, and then I'm going to line it. Once I've done the darts, I'm going to line it with some of this leftover duvet uh, cover, so that it's nice on the inside against the skin, and I don't have to worry too much about finishing. And I'm not sure I'm going to do any bias binding on this one. Not 100%. We'll see. But if I finish it all like that with the lining, I won't need to put bias binding on Sally's bit at least anyway. So, there we go. Let's get sewing. Fabric. Um, hoping it's going to be big enough. Um, didn't come out quite exactly how I planned it the first time because sewing it together just seemed to fit different ways. So I'm going to pop. Oh, it needs to go unfold, doesn't it? Uh, oh, 
should I cut and then flip? I don't know. Fold. Yeah, I need to fold it in half. I've got, I managed, I was put this little yellow patch on because Sally has a little yellow patch. And I thought, yeah, I could make it a little dinky, dinky little pocket. It's a bit of an odd angle, but that's fine. It's fun. So I fold this in half. And I have given some pinky and shears to the uh, seams just to finish them because I did, didn't want to because if I could stitch all that it just felt like too much. <laughs> and I'm going to try and get this left one straight. Even, difficult, and then we need these little patches, these purple patches, give me a few issues, I may have to do some type of stitching on that one. Straighten this out a little bit. I'm going to lose quite a, a few pieces, but it's fine. As long as it, it's big enough to fit it, that's all that matters. Joined by Merlin.
Okay, so everything's cut out now. I've cut the skirt into four pieces because I'm going to try and get the stripes going down for most of the skirt because Jack's stripes, pinstripes. I also, because it's in four, I got a pattern piece from another sewing pattern and uh, I'm going to put some pockets in. Yay! Hi, Merlin. And, uh, yeah, so now I'm going to sew the darts and get to sewing it together. You want to come in? No. Come in for his dinner. <laughs> Let's feed him. Can you say hello? Mm -hmm. Okay.
Beyonce helping me do the hair. I'm even very nervous, bless her. <laughs> My cat's helping. Um, so I've done, I've sewn up the hem, all nice. Yep. And I've done the hem on the inner dress. And now I have the, oh, I've done the bias binding around the neck as well. That's done. I've only done it around the back. I don't want it around the Sally portion. I just want it on Jack. So I'm going to sew all the rest of the bias binding on Jack's side. And then do some button loops, put buttons on, and then we should be finished. And I'm hoping to get it all tried on today outside because it's nice and sunny. So let's get going. One side done. Ah, I put my belt loop button loops on um, on this side. Um, and I'm going to do the next side, but first, I think I'm going to have a coffee break. Oh.
Right. So, I love this dress. It looks great. Um, sorry, let's sit back up a little bit. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I love it. Um, probably wouldn't wear the top underneath it. I'll just put that on because it's a bit chilly. And, you know, I'm, just, I'm sewing with it on, so I just threw it on. Um, yes, it needs ironing. I will iron it. I'm sick of all again. Sorry. <laughs> uh, absolutely love it. I love that it's got the little patch pocket and it's got the side pockets in the skirt. It works really well. Um, it flows beautifully. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it all looks good. I'm going to have a look on the camera because I haven't seen it fully yet. <laughs> I haven't looked in the mirror. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's uh, lovely. Um, and then we've got the little uh, let me bring you in. little spiders for the buttons. I don't know if you can see them. The little like velvet covered buttons. And they're really cute. So yeah, I think that's great. I might wash it and then get an iron. That might be interesting. I'm just thinking about these fabrics. Are they all going to be colour fast? Mm, I hope they don't dye my hair. Stripey. Yeah, oh, just spot on that thread that I need to cut. I really need to stop leaving the uh, threads to the end because I get bored of cutting. <laughs> it's always one of the things I'm always like, oh, I'll do that in the end. It's fine. And then I regret it. And then I miss them. Because there's so many. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super happy with it. It's lined on the front with the uh, twirl that I used to check the sizing. So it's nice and warm on the front. The back's not, it's quite thin. But yeah. But I think that'll be fine. Since this dress basically wraps around the back anyway. So it's not like I'm going to be cold. Uh so I love it, I uh, love the patchwork effect, this dress, I, I think, would you get it, would you get the Let's Jack and Sally dress, I don't know, I did consider maybe putting a collar on, but, like Jack's collar, but the thing is then it would come onto the Sally part, so I don't think that would work very well, but anyway, <laughs> I love it. Um, that is probably the last time I'm going to make the walkway dress. <laughs> I think it comes out quite nice. I I like the style and I don't mind this this so much. Oh, it's a little bit gapy on this one actually. But to be honest I don't think it will bother me if I'm wearing it. I don't think I'd notice. Um, I had a lot more success with this one with the easing the back into the skirt. I took my time this time and I used loads and loads and loads, loads of pins to ease it in nicely so that I didn't get any horrible gathers like I have on the other one. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So all most of these fabrics um, are from t-shirts that I've got from charity shops. This is obviously duvet from the other uh, dress and then I've got just like fabric that I've had in my stash for ages and whatever was left of the yellow duvet is also being used on here so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video um please like share subscribe um especially if you like Merlin a little star um, and yeah, if you want to comment down below what you think of the dress, if you've got any suggestions to make it a bit more obviously Jack and Sally, I don't know, I mean obviously I could do makeup, I could do like half and half, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, I might do something else with the rest of that duvet cover, I do need to do some more journaling videos. I have got August sort of 
planned in my head for mission inspiration that's august of last year yeah i'm behind but it doesn't matter does it we're gonna we're gonna do it we're gonna finish it so yeah thank you for watching and if you've come over from james's hashtag i am going to use it welcome and i hope you subscribe and thank you james for this wonderful idea to kind of boost channels and I'm going to try and watch some, some people's channels. So hi, welcome. Uh, I'm going to go now and get ready for work. I need to have something to eat. Um, and I've loved having you here. So see you again soon. Bye. What do you think? Are you going to help me with the editing tomorrow? Hmm? What do you think? Mm.